Have you ever felt like your bank doesn't just get you? Like you're stuck waiting for simple approval or worse, talking to a chatbot that replies slower than your cousin during Christmas? <laughs> well, what if I told you that the banks of the future will hire more people but they're going to be digital employees called AI agents? And not just any agents, we are talking about an accelerator powered by Huawei called Fin Agent Booster or FAB, a full-on booster to develop AI agents for banks. Now, I just got back from Huawei's finance exhibition at the Huawei Connect 2025 in in Shanghai, where they have launched something that might just change how every bank operates. How? Well, here's my latest explainer video on the new Huawei Finance Explained. So let's first talk about what the Fin Agent Booster or FAB is all about. So this is built to help banks quickly deploy smart AI agents. How? With three main features, so let me break it down for you. Now, feature one is easy to use aka plug and play for the banks. Now you can think of it like this. You know how when we cook, we usually use a recipe instead of just creating a dish from scratch, right? Well, it's the same over here because Huawei's Fab or FAB already comes with a ready-made templates for common banking use cases. This includes 50 plus workflows and 30 plus modular capabilities as well. So there is the credit approval, financial analysis, risk diagnosis and more. So instead of coding for months, the banks just need to configure a few things and boom, in a matter of weeks, the agent is ready to go. And these aren't just guesses because they are based on real workflows from top banks around the globe. Then feature number two is ready to use with MCP. So FAB or FAB uses something called MCP which stands for Model Context Protocol. Now it sounds nice and fancy but here's the point. It lets the AI agent talk to each other's system and external tools like say your plugins for your phone. So if your AI agent agent needs to connect with financial database or a chatbot platform so you don't need to build that so-called bridge because it's already there because of the model context protocol or MCP. Then feature number three would be smooth to use with the end-to-end -end optimization. And here's the part that I personally found very impressive because Huawei is optimizing everything from app layer to server layer so the AI agent replies under three to four seconds because let's be honest if it takes too long, people will get frustrated and I'm sure you will too. So they have done a comprehensive four-layer optimization. The application layer, model layer, platform layer and the foundation layer all engineered to feel instant and responsive. So all in all, FAB or FAB isn't just about tech, it's about business value because Huawei's approach with FAB or FAB is to generate commercial value by helping banks to automate meaningful tasks and personalized services. Next, let's talk about the exhibition islands because the most urgent challenge that banks face today is this. How do we take out AI from the lab to actually make more money from it? Well, it's through the Huawei Digital Finance and together with its partners where Huawei is making AI practical through AI agents. How? Well, this is by unlocking new revenue revenue streams. Currently, there are good applications in China such as the Bank of Communications, BOCOM. Hence, you can see tangible business growth and overcoming risk in total. So AI isn't just about hype, it's about helping financial institutions grow their bottom line intelligently. And AI has been deeply embedded in the banking workflow. But here's the flip side though, because AI makes banks smarter, yes? but it also makes hackers smarter. That is why Huawei is also showing the resilient ICT infrastructure across storage, computing and networks as well. So you can think of it like upgrading your home locks and alarm system built at the scale of an entire financial institution. This way, banks can protect themselves against next-gen threats, including AI-powered cyber attacks because let's face it, hackers are like that uninvited relatives. Once they find their way in, they won't leave easily, right? <laughs> So you really need some serious locks. But one of the coolest things are the case studies. So it clearly shows that Huawei and its partners have already transformed financial clients worldwide, including banks globally. So is this not in theory, as these are the global proof that Huawei's financial solutions are delivering results. So with that being said, let's get into the scenario-based solutions and there are a total of four. Yes, is like a buffet of AI solutions for finance. So it shows that Huawei is going all in. 
First would be the Intelligent Credit Assistant, and this clearly streamlines lending with faster approvals and smarter risk monitoring. The second one would be the Intelligent Data Analysis, which is a unified data lake house for hyper-personalized marketing and predictive trends. Next is the Risk Control Strategy Assistant, and this smartly catches fraud patterns that traditional system misses. Then finally, there's the Intelligent Audit that will scan millions of transactions for compliance or fraud issues in just seconds compared to before. But the next solution takes it to a whole other level and that is this, the AICC or AI Contact Center solution. Now this is powered by Huawei's Pango Large Language Model as well as other LLMs commonly found in the industry which takes all call centers and transform it into an AI-driven powerhouse. So imagine voice, text, video interactions and 24-7 bots that never sleeps. Which sounds like me being awake for 24 hours if I had more than two coffees per day. <laughs> Plus there's even the agent assistant that helps human stuff in real time. So in this particular situation, it's not about just cutting costs. This actually improves customer experience, compliance and turns the contact center into something totally new and improved. Then the final thing worth mentioning is that there was also a live demo of a high performance storage for computing and networking that was shown during the exhibition as well. So imagine all of this equipment handling millions of real-time financial transactions while the system does automated operations and maintenance in the background. And right beside it, there's also the high security sandbox at the exhibition area showing Huawei's multi-layer ransomware protection, which is now even upgraded to defend against quantum computing and AI-based attacks. So to sum all of this up, Huawei Digital Finance is showing us two things. First, that AI is actually usable to drive revenue. And second of all, Huawei also has the infrastructure to keep it safe in this new threat landscape as well, with proven global success cases and scenarios based on solutions. So Huawei is clearly positioning itself as a partner for financial institutions worldwide.